Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. In this video, we are going to uh, discuss AWS IoT CLI commands that are used to interact with the IoT resources. So you can very well interact with the console. It's always a good idea or if you don't have the access to the console in your real project, you can always interact with the CLI. First of all, you need to download the CLI and that you can do it from the AWS website. I will leave the link in the description. You have to just go to this AWS website and you have to select uh, your operating system and you have to download and install the CLI. Once you have downloaded and installed, you can open your command prompt and you need to configure your AWS account with your CLI, right? So you will give the command AWS configure and this will give you the option to configure your AWS resources. So first of all, you will need an access key ID. If you have it, that's well and good. If you don't have the access key, you have to go to the console and you can always, and you have to go to the security credentials. And if you come down, you will see the access keys. If you don't have the access key listed here, then you can go ahead and create one access key and activate it and download it. All right. After getting the access key, you will be entering it uh, in this field. I already have uh, this access key and you will also get the secret key. Next is the reason that you have to use. So default reason I'm using is US East 1. You can choose whatever the reason you want. And next is the output format. I will keep it none. All right. So this is how you configure the credentials for interacting with the AWS resources. Now. Let's go to our IoT console. And in here, we'll go to all devices, things. So as you can see, there are no things listed in here. So we are going to create one thing using the AWS CLI command, all right? So how we can create a thing? We have this command that is AWS IoT create thing in the thing name. The thing name here I'm using is dog1. And you can see the thing name is created with the ARN and the thing ID, All right? Let's go to the console and check it. If it is available, we will refresh it. Okay, we can see the dog1 is available now. So we have created a thing successfully. The next thing is let's create a thing group that will be animals, all right? So the thing group is also created. You can go ahead and check in the thing group. You can see animals is created, all right? Next, we'll also create a thing type. So for thing type, the command is AWS IoT, create thing type and the thing type name is dogs all right it's giving us an error there is a space in here so we'll have to remove that space and all right so the thing type is created let's check it on the console and you can see the thing type is created. Let's go ahead and attach this thing name with this thing type. The dog one will be attached to dogs. So we'll be using the command AWS IoT create thing with thing name dog one and the thing type name as dogs. So we are getting an error. It's a create thing, right? And uh, dog one is already uh, created. So we'll be getting resource already exist exception, right? will not be able to add this particular dog one with this thing type with this command. Let's create one more thing. Let's say this dog is dog two and the thing type is dogs. Okay, enter. So this dog two is created. We can check that on the console. Dog two is created and the thing type is dogs. What if I want to add this uh, dog one to this particular thing type. Uh, we can use the command update thing. 
all right and we can update with the thing type name all right so this command is executed let's go and check on the console we'll we'll refresh and check so dog one is now attached with thing type all right the next is what if you want to describe the thing you can use the describe thing command with the thing name so this describe thing will give all the details about this particular thing if there are attributes it will be available right currently there are no attributes so let's go ahead and uh, add some attributes to this particular thing all right again we will be using the same dog one to update the thing and we will be passing the payload attribute how we pass it with that attribute payload and stringified version of your json all right so the dog one is updated we can go and check that in dog one we have attributes and the dog name we have added lucy all right the next is list named shadow command it will list all the shadows for that particular for that particular thing let's see if we have any shadows for this particular dog one we don't have any shadows because we haven't created any let's create a named shadow we'll name this as description all right so we have created a shadow and the name is description let's go ahead and get the named shadows for this particular thing we can use this command aws iot data it's not showing anything in the result okay so the thing name i think we have misspelled in the result we can see description as the named shadow all right what if you want to send some data or uh, what if you want to get the data from that particular shadow you can use the get thing shadow command and you have to also pass the name of the particular shadow so we'll be using this command for getting the data from that particular shadow so in this command you will be requiring a output file so output.txt i'm saving it in this particular location no shadow exists with dog one properties check the spelling and all it's capital d let me copy it and it's not properties it's description so in the output.txt we will be seeing the output of it all right you can see and this is the shadow document that we have got and you can if you go inside this one you will be able to see the same things along with the metadata we have got all right now what if i want to update something in the shadow so we'll be using this command update things shadow and we will be also sending this in the binary format uh, base 64 encoded one with the payload which is having state as reported right so if we pass this it will be updating in the classic shadow not the named shadow because we have not passed any shadow name if we are just running this command it will automatically create a classic shadow let's run this command first and the response will be saved in this response.json file in my local desktop let's see what happened on the console we'll go to the shadows and you can see one classic shadow is created and reported is name lucy that's what we send in reported we sent name lucy all right if we want to perform any action on the named shadow we have to pass the shadow name so for named shadow how we can do that our shadow name we have to pass it here and our shadow name is description right so let's run this command and in the console let's go and check the shadow you can see the name is updated it has not overwritten it has just appended it because it's a new property if we want to clear this we have to send some blank data for clearing it all right there are a whole lot of actions that you can perform on the iot resources 
but in this video let's skip it to this much only if you want the list of all the commands that you can perform you can visit my website it's technotaps.com and i will be leaving the link in the description you can visit the website and you can search for all the commands that you need it's not updated fully one thing to notice in here that when we were creating the attribute we only passed one attribute if you have a thing type defined for a particular thing you can add up to 50 attributes if you don't have a thing type you can only add up to three attributes currently we are using only one attribute all right so i hope this video has helped you in understanding the things better so if it has made any impact on you i request you to like the video and subscribe to the channel and at last i want to say thanks for watching see you in the next video